The primary components of the Eaton Hybrid Power System are the power electronics carrier or hybrid battery box, inverter motor controller, AC motor generator, and an automated Eaton transmission. All hybrid power electronics are mounted by the vehicle manufacturer and can be in different locations depending on the make and model of the truck. Contact the vehicle manufacturer for component location. Hybrid vehicles contain high voltage batteries and components, so safety is of the utmost importance. Eaton has designed its hybrid vehicles with safety first. High voltage cables are clearly identified with bright orange casing and contain high voltage warning labels. Never cut or open high voltage cables or components. Also, never drive the hybrid vehicle through deep standing water. The Eaton Hybrid Power System includes several built-in safety features. The complete high voltage system is isolated from the vehicle chassis and body. The hybrid system continuously monitors for proper system function. An inertia switch, located in the PEC, will shut down the hybrid system in the event of an accident. Also, if the high voltage cable connections become loose or disconnected, the hybrid system will shut down and all power will be safely stored in the power electronics carrier. It's important to understand the proper procedures in the event of an accident, fire or other emergency. There are a few options in terms of procedures for an emergency shutdown. The most preferred option is to turn the ignition key off on the dash. Under this scenario, the engine, dash lights, and HEV system will shut down. A second shutdown option is to disconnect the 12-volt vehicle batteries. In this case, the systems will shut down just as they did with the first ignition key option. The third emergency shutdown procedure involves the red service switch on the PEC. In this case, the driver should push the service switch and shut down the engine. This will disable the hybrid system. Please note that the red service switch should only be used in an emergency shutdown or when the service manual or troubleshooting guide directs the hybrid train technician to perform work on the high voltage system. In the event of a fire, use CO2 or dry chemical fire extinguishers only. In a case where the vehicle has been in an accident, the following emergency procedure should be applied. First, apply the parking brake. Push N on the shift console and turn the key to the off position. Then, exit the vehicle if it's safe to do so. For more detailed information on emergency procedures and built-in safety features, please refer to the Hybrid Driver Instruction Booklet TRDR1000.